Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. We're going to do Pilates without any apparatus this morning. Let's get going. Starting with a nice shoulder roll from the back to the front and then from the front to the back. Good, and now we're going to arms, touch, and open. And rotate the shoulders. And rotate. And two more. Good, everybody. Now you're going to reach and reach. Start engaging the back. Do make sure to keep the tummy in. Remember, we're breathing as if we're pulling up the zip of a jacket or going up and down in a lift, whatever comes to mind. Relax the shoulders. Two more. One more. Now you're going to reach and reach. Reach and reach. A bit of rib stretch with a twist. Good. And stretch and stretch let's straighten the arms here we go one more now we're going to reach down and behind us this is just a very simple gentle rocking movement as it were to engage the lumbar spine and to get the lumbar spine going and we're going forward and back forward and back and again forward and back forward and back fantastic everybody now we're going to bring our bent legs forward and I was in the garden <laughs> here we go and we're going to stretch right arm left arm right arm towards the foot now we're going to swap we're going to go towards the calf but on the outside of the calf. And again here we're working at and now closer to the body. And starting to move the lumbar spine. So here we do it again. Gently. And reach. And reach. Now you go back to your calf area. And then we're reaching down. And down, and down, and down. Excellent. Reach for your toes. Place your hands on the inside of your feet. And back up. Feet together, knees apart. We're going to just close and open the legs. This is called the butterfly. And four. And three and two and one very good everybody we're going to swing around and we're going to start with a sitting one now some of these movements we have done before i'm going to do it a little bit different today again here you've got two options either sitting up straight not leaning back if you are leaning back make sure it's not too far because then you're going to feel it in your lower back and you're going to start arching so Push that chest out, shoulders back, or stay upright. If this is not working for you this morning, then just lower the legs and stay in the upright position. Roll the shoulders back, and this is going to be an arm and upper body exercise. Right, we're going to breathe in. Lift your right arm up. Now, if you're leaning back, make sure the arm goes far back. Exhale down. Same arm to the side of the shoulder. Turn your head and back and again same arm going up coming down and we turn and back and we up down turn and back now we're going to stretch a little bit further as we twist be careful here you go a little bit further and back and up and down further and back now we're going to go up and underneath the other arm, up, underneath the other arm, up, 
underneath the other arm. This is good for shoulders as well, up and underneath. Now we're going to be sideways, one arm in the front, one here. Now you're going to go up and down. And up, drop the other arm and back. And lift and drop. And lift and drop. And again, we lift and drop. And lift and drop. And here you can sit upright if it's easier. One more time and recover. Right, everybody, other side. You're going up, come down, out only to shoulder and back. Up and down in line with shoulder and back. Up and down, shoulder. Breathing in. Breathing out. Up. Now we reach further. Remember the head as well. Breathe in. Breathe out. Reach back. And together. Up and down. All the way. Up. Down. All the way. Good, everybody. Now up. And over. Underneath, sorry. Up and under the other arm. Up and other arm. Under arm. Up. Under the other arm. Up and underneath. And recover to the side. Now we're reaching up and back. And lift and back. Lift and lower. Lift and relax the shoulders. Lift and back. And lift and back. And two. And one. And recover. Reaching down in between. Relax shoulders. And now we're going to place the hands behind the head. Now if you struggle with this one, you don't have to lift your leg very high. You can actually keep it on the floor if necessary. But do make fingers point at your lower back. Pull the shoulders back. Now for level one, if you're worried, you're just going to straighten your one leg. Lift it as high as you can, bring it down and bend and then straighten this one, lift it a little bit and there. The variation for number two, be careful though, is you straighten the leg up. You go higher up but careful that you don't conk in, so don't go too high and you end up doing that. And bring it in and back, so you'll notice that I'm bending my arms a little bit more. This is level two. Level three only advanced people, no bad backs. You're going to lift your feet off the floor. All right, so you can keep the one on the floor if you want to. Otherwise, both up and you straighten, you lift, you lower, bring it in, straighten other leg, lift, lower. I'll do this again and then I'll re go into reverse. So this is advanced level, but if you feel any discomfort, However small in your back, please don't do this one. Or you keep your feet on the floor and then you straighten, you lift, you lower and back, straighten, lift, lower and back. Or you come up higher and then you go all the way down, lift, lower, back, on the floor, lift, lower and back. I'll do the in-between one. Lift. Good everybody, just one more each leg. Excellent. Now, we're going to go all the way down onto bent arms, squeeze the shoulder blades together, keep the tummies in and lift up. If you've got a neck issue and you prefer to keep your head on the floor, 
then lie down with this one. But do make sure your back is flat as far as possible. It might lift a little bit, but it's okay. Now, this is called the can-can. You're going to breathe, inhale, exhale, straighten both legs towards 11 o'clock. If you think of a clock on the ceiling, then you come back to 12 o'clock. Then you go to 1 o'clock and you're back at 12. Now, you can do it this way, which is not always comfortable for everybody. You can come up and do it this way, which might be a little bit easier actually for backs or you can lie down completely with your head on the floor just remember to make sure the back is not lifting breathing in breathing out breathing in breathing out breathing in breathing out one more time stretch and stretch lie down catch your breath Good everybody, now we need to straighten the legs and stretch the legs. So let's place both, straighten both legs on the floor, shake it off. And before we do the next one, please note that we have done this before as a stretch, but now we're going to add a movement. Please take care of your body if you find the intensity getting too much. Lie down, relax. Maybe just do the arm movements, but keep your head on the floor instead of lifting up. So, first things first. Make sure that the toes are not facing out. They're actually facing up towards the ceiling. Now take a nice deep breath in. Gently lift your head up and gently press against the floor with your back. Relax your shoulders. Now inhale your right arm across the body and exhale down lift other arm across the body and down and it's only the arms moving breathing in breathing out now it's two arms lift and lower and lift and lower relax the shoulders and lift and lower now straight up up and up and up and up and two and one and recover turn the arms around one more time now we're going to lift both up and down and up and down and up and down and up and, up, and, up, and lie down relax your neck Relax your lower jaw, relax your abs, relax your whole body. Good everybody, bending our knees, then we're going to lift the leg up, here again head up but if your head is on the floor make sure your back, your back is flat. Straighten the one leg, place your hands below your knee always on your shin your back is lifting raise the legs we're going to inhale exhale stretch inhale exhale stretch inhale exhale just a couple of these just to stretch the hip flexors and stretch and stretch and stretch and stretch and two and one and again catch your breath Stretch your arms, gently take the legs to one side, shoulder blades staying on the floor. And then breathe in up with the legs, in out exhale over to the other side. swing back gently roll over onto your side everybody 
we're going to work hips and bum it's going to be the very simple one first you're going to imagine that you're on a small bicycle keeping the leg bent you're just going to circle here And now we're going to go the other way around. Good. Now we're going to cycle bigger. So you're going to stretch the legs. Tummies in and up. And stretch. Try to keep the leg at the same level. And we reverse. the last one bring your leg up hold it pull it closer and really stretch 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 the glutes try and straighten the leg for an extra stretch pull the legs in open the hip be careful here Straighten your leg as much as you can, pulling it closer. And now drop, foot on top of the other one or behind. And recover. Coming up, cross your leg. Turn away from the leg. Good, everybody, and drop the leg. Swing the legs back. And other side. Not doing a lot on side line this morning. It's not going to be a very long video. I just want you to keep going, whether you're having, whether you're enjoying your summer holidays or you're in winter time where I am, we need to keep moving. So here we go. Small circle. Think of being on a bike, small bicycle. Other way around. Good, everybody. Now the big circles. Thumb is in yet. Yeah, don't wobble in the upper body. Don't go too fast. Even though you might find this easy. And reverse. Bring the legs closer to the body, relax, relax, straighten it. Remember deep, slowly, inhale, inhale slowly, deep, and exhale slowly. That will help to relax the muscles. So nice, slow, deep breath in. And a slow deep breath out, straight to the leg, pull it closer. And then drop. Relax. Excellent. Come
coming up, cross and turn. I don't know if you can hear the birds in the background. We've got lots of finches. Turn the other way. And leg to the back. Excellent, everybody. Let's go into stretching now. Feet together, knees apart. Your right hand on the opposite leg. You breathe in, you breathe out. You lean over. Reach for the side. And then look up, reach for the sky. And then lower the head, lower the arm. Center the head. Slowly come up. Inhale, exhale. Change hands, change arms. Reach for the wall. And then reach for the sky. And as you lift your arm up, relax your shoulder. Breathe, guys. And then as the arm goes down, turn the head. Consciously relax your shoulder. Nice stretch in the neck as well. All the way down to the psoas, center the head, and then straighten up. Take a deep breath in, both arms up, look up at the ceiling. Exhale, interlock. Now breathe in, lift your body off your bones and push. Lean forward, relax shoulders. Now pull the arms in and extend them to the side. Then take the arms back. Remember your head is still in line with your neck and lift the arms up as high as you can and now your head will drop. Be careful here. Slowly come up. Lower the arms, lower the shoulders and relax. Legs out in a V. If you struggle, do one leg straight, one leg bent, and then swap around. One leg bent, one leg straight. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, turn to your right leg. Now, as you go forward, bend your arms. And I'm not even touching my foot, but my arms are bent, and I'm relaxing onto my leg. Now lift the inner arm and place it on the outside of the foot or the leg. Lower the head. Bring this arm back in. Place the other arm also on the inside of the leg. Still looking towards the leg. Now you've got that nice stretch running all the way into the glutes. Good everybody. Now you're going to inhale, exhale, one hand on this side of the knee, leg, one hand over here. Now bend your arms, lean forward. Now we're stretching mainly here. You can actually do it with your arms here. If you want more of a stretch, bring the arms closer, keep them bent, relax shoulders. Now we push up, we turn, we breathe in, arms up. We exhale, we go down, we bend our arms, we relax. Place your inside hand on the outside. And on the inside, other hand also on the inside, still Staying close to the leg. Nice stretch into the glutes. Now we open the arms and now you can either do what we've just done or you slide your hands out to the side and you lower your head. Then we lift our heads up. 
we lift the arms up, we breathe in, we exhale. We bring the legs in, we sit in a comfortable position, we inhale the right arm up, and as always, we exhale and we let the head rest. If you've got a neck problem, please don't do the next one. You let go of your head slightly, you turn your head, you look down at the leg, no pressure, no pressure from the hand. Let it go, turn your head, release, other side, And then again, let it go, turn your head, look down at the knee. And again, let go, center your head. Last but not least, guys, look down at the floor. Roll the shoulders forward, sinking into a floor, into the floor, round your back. And then inhale, exhale back. And inhale, exhale. Have a wonderful day wherever you are. Thank you for joining. Cheeky thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Please like, please share. Please subscribe to my channel. And do remember, I do have a blog. I would really like you to read it and subscribe. So again, thank you everybody. Bye.